Hello, everybody. Here we are again. It's another week. And um, my goodness, a lot is happening. Um, Pat gave me a haircut today. Does everyone like it? See? I thought he did a great job. <laughs> Since we don't know when I'll be able to get to a hairdresser again. Which brings us to today's topic. It is patience. We need to have a lot of patience these days because, you know, I did some numbers. Wait a minute. Let me get my numbers. See, I have my tourmaline again. I love this thing. Okay. So here's how the numbers go. Just because. Not to be depressing. Just because. Just because we need to know and understand. All right. So there are 328,239,523 and peeps in the United States. Okay. In order to have... Um, uh, a, a herd effect or immunity for the masses, you need, as they say, between 60 and 70% who already have immunity. So we'll say 65%. So if we take 65% of the population of the United States, we need, are you ready? 200 million, 213 million, 355,690 people to have immunity. We currently have 1 million. So we still have, what, 212 million left to go. So now, I didn't do that to be depressing. We did that because we want to let you understand that as long as we have these gigantic numbers out here, we still have a lot of work to do. We're doing our job. And, and I think we're doing all right, but I see a lot of people panicking. And that's why the word today is patience. It's about patience. We have an uphill battle. We have a road to climb. We are doing great. We are doing great. And I, you know what I always say about patience? Can it be mastered? <laughs> I mean, you know, the type of beings that humans are, we don't like having to be patient. It is a very uncomfortable thing. And you have to just kind of get in a Zen mode, just kind of breathe through it. And when you start to feel anxiety or frustration or feeling pent in, you just need to meditate through that. The more we bring our light in, the more we do our job, the faster we will get to this point, the faster. Now, we are going to start testing to see if maybe that immunity number is higher. Gosh, I hope so. But I know it isn't 212 million. We know that. So I just want you to understand what we're facing you know, as a, I, I'm a, I'm a, what do we call me? Uh, amateur, low grade scientist. You know, <laughs> I studied sciences this as a youngster, but, um, you know, I love science. So I like the scientific part of things. And I love, of course, the metaphysical. And what I like about today is that we're bridging the gap between the metaphysical and the science. And a lot of my workshops, I talk about that. So we have both things, you know, it's not just one or the other. It's all, it's all inclusive. And that's what's important for us to understand that we need to embrace the whole thing. Or right, it's like an entire combo platter, right? You know, you can't just have one part of it. You got to go all the way with it. All right. So um, those are the words from Mahe today is to just be patient and when you need energy, bring yourself into the grid. Bring yourself into that grid system like we've been doing every week. And not only are you giving it, you're getting it, you see. So when you need a zap, just jump on board. Get a little zap from the grid system. That's what all the little light seeds are doing right now. That's what we're doing. We are lighting the planet. And the more we light it, the faster we get immunity. The faster we make it so that this virus is impotent to the human race. And that's what we want. That's what we want. We want to be able to get to that finish line. 
Now, this is going to change how we interact with each other for a really quite a bit of time, you know, probably a couple of years, to be honest. Uh, can we make it go faster? Yep. But by doing reckless things, what happens is that we increase the number of critical cases that we get that then puts a strain on our healthcare system, puts a strain on our healthcare workers. So that's one of the reasons why isolation is so important because otherwise, I mean, you could just bombard the holy heck out of it and, you know, see what happens at the other side, but it's not a really good way to do it because people aren't going to get medical attention that way because the system's going to overflow. It's going to be too much. So, so we want to bring that light in and be the light. So let's go today. Today, we're not only are we going to give that light, we're going to grab some and we're going to allow ourselves to feel that reciprocal energy of the mother and that energy as we connect in so that we can nurture ourselves and we can be more patient with how we're being asked to change. And, you know, people say they love change, but they don't. That's not true. You like the outcome of change. You like excitement of change. But when you get to this part of change of waiting for the soup to cook, you don't like it. And that's human nature. So I want you to understand that it's just part of who we are. All right. There's nothing wrong with us. It's just part of who we are. So let's go ahead and let's feel that reciprocal energy from the mother, from the father, and feel that energy, heaven and earth, come through us and recharge you today. So the whole game is to recharge and be able to be more patient with what we're being asked to do. So you ready? So get ready. Have you a little tourmaline in your hand? Yeah, good. And put your feet on the floor. Good. Take a deep breath in and just blow it out. And bring a nice big breath in and just blow. And let all that stress and frustration, let it go. Good. Now feel, visualize that golden yummy light coming from the source. Coming into the top of your head. Immediately feel how warm and protecting and loving that light feels. And that light continue to come down through your head into your neck into your sinuses, into your lungs. Good. Into your chest, out your arms, out your fingers. Let it continue down through your chest, into your belly. Into your hips. Thighs, knee, calves, ankles, feet. Fill your feet up. Ah, oh, feels good. And let that light come right out your feet into the earth to the mother. Say hello. Now feel yourself connect into the grid system. Now feel the mother's energy filling you up through that light because the light comes down the front and up the back, down the front and up the back. Just feel that motion, feel that energy flowing. Oh, feel it coming in. Good. 
Good. Feel all you want. You can take all you want. It's an inexhaustible source. And bring the light in. And feel how calm you feel. Feel the love you feel. Know that you as a light seed have chosen to come here at this time to be this anchor of energy. To be the light for the planet and to light us up whenever, ever we needed light. It's now. Feel how full you feel. Let that light fill you up. Bring it back in. The mother is so glad you're here. We're doing a good job. We're going to get this. Now open your eyes and feel that light continuing to move through you. Practice being that Johnny light seed, bringing that light, having that light go through your body at all times. Eventually, it makes you kind of giggle. It does. <laughs> it's true. So play with the light. It loves to play with you. It loves to feel your energy. And we are so happy that you are here on this journey. So we have our job. We have our work set up for us. That's true. But we're doing a great job. We just have to be a little more flexible. A little more present in the moment. Feeling that light, bringing that light into the earth and then bringing that light right back up through us with that essence of the mother, with that energy in it. It's so strong, it's so loving and so protecting. So this week, we get to be that fulcrum of patience for the planet. And I think it's a good job. I think it's a really good job. So I will see you next week. I love you all. Keep doing your good work. We will get through this. It is going to happen. I love you. Bye-bye.